my god, my god, my god, my god. Where were you? Oh, Gene, I'm so sorry. I'll never hurt you or anyone ever again. It's too late. No! You can't hide. No, Gene! No! I've been trying to find the Wolverine for over a year. It's not who I am anymore. My employer wants to say thank you for saving his life all those years ago. There was a time when our enemies knew honor. I wanted to offer you something no one else can. A gift. You have struggled long enough. I can end your eternity. Make you mortal. What they did to me. What I am. Can't be undone. Don't be so sure. I'm not healing like before. His flesh is weak now. Eternity can be a curse. A man can run out of things to live for. They ain't here yet. Well, we certainly get to see a lot more of the movie here, which I personally like because I hate it when a new trailer is basically just the other, the, the previous trailer recut and maybe one thing added. Uh, here they really uh, up the ante, and I think in, in a positive manner. I mean, the things they've added make me more excited to see the movie. Because let's face it, at this point. Uh, we, I think we have to get over our disappointment that this is just never going to be the X-Men of the comics, that 20th Century Fox is just so far gone from that that it's just almost like an alternate universe. So the only real joy that I think we get out of these movies is seeing the cool mutant powers and, uh, and fights. I mean, I know I really enjoy that a lot. And so they're showing me more cool mutant powers and fights in this trailer, so I'm more like, okay, maybe it is worth the price of admission. Uh, I, I think Yukio looks really cool here. I know people are torn on what they think of that character, but I mean, I think they could do a lot with something that's never been a really, that's that's a good thing about these kind of like this Fox alternate universe. They can take a character that I think has never really, you know, risen and, you know, make her something really cool in the movies. And it's funny to see such a focus on her uh, when they, Mariko is, you know, the big part of the Wolverine story in the comics. And I know she's in this film, but they don't show her at all. So it makes me question how much, how big, how big her role is in the film. That said, I think comic book movie trailers are getting really good at hiding twists and hiding uh, plot points more so than ever before. I think sometimes it backfires like it did with Iron Man 3. I think Marvel set people up for a specific film and they didn't give it to them. So I think maybe that's what's responsible for so much anger towards the film. But that said, I don't really know if the Wolverine producers are sophisticated enough to kind of do that kind of switcheroo on us. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, Hugh Jackman, I think, is only a medium Wolverine. He, he doesn't have the scrappiness of, of Wolverine. I mean, I don't even see him doing some of, the, some of the fight moves, I think, here seem too choreographed. I don't see the berserker rage, which Wolverine is famous for. Uh, he has more of a street style fighting. And I think Hugh Jackman in some of these scenes has a little bit too much finesse. But I like Yukio. Uh, I like uh, what they're doing with the Viper with that long tongue and the skin. I mean, I guess it makes sense. And I like that actress. She was in Tinker Tailor Tol uh, Soldier Spy. She did a nice job there. Uh, I, uh, and then um, Silver Samurai. 
I don't know how I feel about making him so big, but I think it could be a very cool sequence. And I, I like the actor who's playing him too. It's nice to see some Japanese, it's nice to see, even though they made Viper white, it's nice to see the Silver Samurai is still Japanese and Yukio is Japanese and they're using uh, ja uh, Japanese actors. So I like that. Uh, it'll be interesting. Uh, I'm excited for the 47 Ronin trailer to come out because it's another story, you know, fantasy samurai story and so is this. So uh, it'll be, it, who gets the flavor right? You know, this uh, sci-fi samurai or, or at least, you know, comic book samurai. But what do you think of this new Wolverine trailer? Is it making you want to see the movie anymore? Or, you know, you, know, you don't care how much glitter Fox uh, throws on this? It's not Wolverine. Write your thoughts down below. And also, what do you think of the fact that, you know, comic books are getting, comic book movies are getting so good at hiding twists? Do you think it's too much of a roll of the dice? And do you agree that it backfired for Iron Man 3? If you'd maybe known a little bit, if you could maybe seen the twist coming more if Mandarin hadn't been built up so much, do you think maybe you would have been more accepting of it? So, write your thoughts down below. Thank you for coming to be on the trailer for the latest trailers and these quick snapshot reviews. Thanks for watching.